Are you looking for a free to play walkthrough guide series from noob to pro for King God Castle? This video is for you. Hey, now here. This is episode one of my noob to pro series. This is season two. A lot of you guys have seen my season one. And if you don't know what this is, this is a walkthrough series where I take a brand new account in King God Castle and I take it from noob on all the way to pro and I explain everything that I do and all the, the, the ways that you should be thinking about this game so you don't get stuck. So that is why you're here so whether you're looking for a guide walkthrough or you actually know how to play and you're just looking for some fun stuff and seeing me die you know that is okay as well and if this video on youtube reaches at least 100 likes i know you guys can do it i know you are fully capable i'll upload the next episode as soon as possible on youtube and as always check out my patreon page if you are at all interested in becoming a patron and supporting me you get early access to all of my content as well as all of my new to post series so you don't have to wait for it to come out on youtube so you'll definitely be ahead on episodes for sure on patreon as well as other exclusive content on patreon so if you're at all interested in supporting me i highly recommend checking that out but let's get started boys man it has been a while i've been you know this is my name of my player so this is my player name let's do uh noob to pro can i have spaces my name no uh noob to pro no 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 this is free to play boys free to play knob i am free to play knob yes let's do that one and then name of the castle let's do noob to pro s2 season two boys yeah let's go yes confirm so much crap has changed since that first video like dominion came out like phase 15 came out and if you uh this is the tutorial by the way I know a lot of you guys might be uh, new to this game as well, so don't worry. I will be explaining as I go, and feel free to skip forward if it is uninteresting to you, but this is also kind of like a walkthrough guide as well. So this is an auto battler of sorts, like a strategy game, so if you are at all familiar with like auto battle games like TFT or like, I don't know, Dota Underlords or something like that, so uh, you have silver, right, and uh, you get silver over time, over rounds, and then you get the summon units on your bench and then you can merge them for higher tiers right this is the seven heroes right you just click this three silver each you have a formation size which you have to spin silver to increase right uh your formation size. right now we can only put three units on the field boom 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 and then once you click go all your units will um follow their pathing coding and attack and then you know each auto attack gets you mana and then when they reach max mana they'll automatically do their ability drag on the screen to scout enemies so yeah you can scout the enemies by dragging the screen so we did this in the past and seems that the, this is the same this is the same tutorial they don't they, they haven't touched this now if you are watching this way in the future this video might be uh dated you know like like so i imagine so much this is an item by the way there are items in this game so swords as you imagine it is uh attack damage we can equip it to any hero boom each hero can hold three items right and now this is the merge system so you can uh you know same tier then you can merge boom now it's tier two right and that is how we do it drag out and you can sell units as well right just drag it to the bottom left boom start all right but yeah if you're watching this in the future just know that some things that you see might be changed or some things might be added because if you watch my season one new to pro series and what was available back then it was so different man it is so different so the same thing with this video um this game goes through a lot of changes uh, very quickly sometimes so that is i mean that's the joy right we get a a game that gets uh regularly updated and yeah so now uh, this is more merging right well, i now have a tier two right now tier two tier two tier three and the max tier that you can get on a unit is tier seven so yeah this is what it says uh next and that's pretty much the the the, the basics boys you summon units merge and place them on the field click go right sounds easy right but not really there there is some there is some finesse to it you know you can't just like throw throw everything in the kitchen sink on the board and and you think you'll be okay um yeah you, you can't really do that with this game but yeah but yeah so this is a 
weapons okay so same thing with units how we merge uh heroes you can merge items so my items also have tiers so this is a tier one sword evan right here this unit has a tier one sword this is a tier two sword so as you imagine we can actually merge on the unit and by the way you cannot remove this item if you want to later so where you put your items um there are some ways to kind of uh change your weapons but uh that is another thing just know that whoever you put your items on is going to be pretty much is going mean, to be stuck there so we're going to merge this item now boom it's a tier two sword tier two sword on tier two sword boom tier three right and the max tier for weapon is a tier four so when you merge uh this is your damage meters and all this stuff right very familiar uh, use your silver wisely win okay so you can either drag to merge or double click right or double tap yeah as i was saying uh tier four item is your max right so tier seven max for heroes tier four max for items so this is the tutorial nothing has really changed oh man i'm getting flashbacks boys i'm getting flashbacks uh okay this is just like tutorial this is your barracks this is pretty much your you know your heroes right uh hero xp cool 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 six heroes so we have to we have to fill our team right with six heroes so i'm just gonna drag six heroes up here boom boom you can change this at any time okay it's okay it's a okay now this is our altar altars are very important okay guys very important so you can upgrade your altar, right? First one's for free, click boom, boom, boom. Upgrade any altar of your choice. So you can put altar points into an, uh, your setup and start making your builds, right? Gate tabs where you can initiate your battle. Okay, cool, invasion, cool, invasion chapter one. And then that is it for the tutorial. The game doesn't tell you much, okay, boys? And that's why you guys are here. That is why you guys are here. So this is the main menu and it just it literally just leaves us here, right? <laughs> it's pretty funny. So let's go back to the barracks. So this is, oh, this is not barracks, shop. So this is the barracks. Now altars is very important, okay? And don't be afraid to put your altar. So bottom right, retrieve ember. This button down here, the yellow one it is for you just retrieve your points back okay it, it is not permanent okay so don't look at it like a permanent you know uh talent tree or something that you need to pay to change no this is free okay you can change this no problemo so don't worry about you know oh should i put it in giant you know later on i gotta pay money no no don't worry about it i'm gonna put it in blood i do recommend putting it in blood first um and then okay so how do i want to tackle this bad boy so um this is the main menu okay so you can see the king god this is the pass right here this is the battle pass your standard battle pass right now rye is the current battle pass skin but this is a free to play account boys i am not paying for anything on this account and through this series and it is strictly free to play boys no battle pass here and the only thing bad about that is that i have to watch the ads <laughs> if i want the extra stuff but that you don't you know even then you don't need to this game is super free to play friendly and that is um what i'm doing here today so beginner's quest is just like this thing that you do and once you uh do everything you get a free hero joel joel is actually pretty decent right now so not bad then go to your inbox just retrieve all you get food now food up here the meat thing this is your stamina okay and this is a stamina ran based game so each run that you do in invasion will take five uh food or you do great rift but there are a lot of freaking modes in this game okay so the, you will see down here gate okay so the first thing that you do so when you click like battle or whatever you see like a boatload of like modes right and you're just like which one do i focus on you can't really do much because it's like actually gated right so um don't you don't have to worry about any of it all right so what we're gonna be doing and this is just arena this is alliance uh, the alliance will open up later don't worry about it and then bear so the first thing on the menu is when you start off in king god castle you need to focus on invasion mode invasion mode is like your story mode okay and your essentially your progression so to speak is kind of tied to how well you can clear 
invasion mode because in the future what you're going to be doing especially in in game and a lot of it during your lifetime in king of castle is farm and you're going to be farming your highest chapter the, la the latest one as of this video right as of this playthrough is chapter 10 phase 15 that is the max right now and you want to farm that over over and over and over and over until you get everyone maxed out at level th of the current max level which is 20 in the future there might be you know chapter 11 and chapter 12 that gets released and i hope that comes soon okay but that has not been released yet so that is the idea okay we're not going to be focusing on you know we're going to be doing other stuff as well like you know we'll be doing tower trials and expedition and like maybe we'll play some you know we'll have to do some arena and maybe try out some raid and stuff but the only reason why we're doing that is to get extra resources okay but our main goal as a new player in king god castle is focusing on invasion we have to get a team that is that is a farmer like we need one very 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 strong farming team and then once you have that down you all you need to do is grind like grind use that same team over and over and over and grind the highest chapter over and over and over your bears get higher 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 and then you can get you can do all this other all these other modes even better than before but guess what you will never stop farming guys never 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 so that is why invasion mode aka story mode is so important so now that we know what our mode focus is on so what team are we focusing on so we need to designate what team we're going to go for now this is really important because a lot of new players get get trapped into leveling all of their heroes uh equally which is not the way to go because at the beginning actually this game is very uh nice and gives you a lot of resources in the beginning and then eventually you're gonna hit a point where it doesn't give you that much and then you're gonna be really struggling so what we want to do is focus on one main carry and level up that main carry all the way up so now you're like hey knob what 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 hero should we focus on now at the beginning because all we start out is seven heroes right well glad you asked <laughs> so season one i did do armis gang right so if you know i did armis with like a tank leo right and that is what i did for season one now season two i want to do something different i'm going to be doing the evan run uh, but I'm going to be doing a little different. I want to actually get focus on getting a hero that you have to get from Gotcha and later. So at the start, we have to focus on something, right? I, like we don't have any of these heroes uh, unlocked yet, right? So I have to focus on something. So I can focus on Evan first and then, you know, try out Evan until I get the hero that I'm aiming for. Um, because right now, in my opinion, he is the best farmer and doesn't actually require a lot of uh, resources or another hero to enable him so I can actually farm very quickly. So our game plan for this series is going to be a solo carry insignia mask with gladiator shield with Evan okay last time we did Armas gang with like penetrating spear rapid we're not doing it this time I'm actually gonna ignore Air Armas completely he's okay in the current patch Evan is still pretty solid but we're gonna be taking Evan up as far as we can and we are gonna be going for insignia mask relics what are relics we'll get into that later but the, it's essentially a gear that gives you abilities and it will uh, give you some nice effects that will uh, empower your team We'll get into later right here you can see a relic tab at level seven we'll get into it boys okay but relics we'll be getting it from different kind of chapters and we will you know cover it when we get there but at the beginning we have to like figure out a direction that we want to go so we're, um, we're going to be doing evan solo carry and then the hero that i want to get from gotcha is going to be in wrath he is the newest current newest hero of this patch in the future you know there's gonna be a ton of new heroes if you're watching this feature i'm sure there's many other heroes right now but right now in wrath is the newest hero and he is incredibly strong uh in invasion chapter specifically okay boys and he is very easy to play in it and he is very strong in this mode very fast farmer and i want to actually get him up so as if i can get this guy as soon as possible i'm gonna drop everything 
everything on Evan and then just focus hard on Enrad. So that is going to be the game plan. Uh, the other thing is going to be hero lock. So of the seven heroes that you start off with, you should always include Alberon in your team because he is a hero lock, AKA backup hero. You can see a backup hero here. You can click it and then it will actually kind of tell you what it actually kind of does. But even in this explanation, it doesn't really tell you. So this functionality, there are certain heroes in this game that is considered to be backup heroes and they can only show up in round one now if you don't know what hero lock is i will explain it a little bit later but i do have an entire video on it so just look on my channel for that one but always include alberon on your team because you start off with one hero lock and we want to get a uh, full team of hero locks with a solo carry so our solo carry is evan hero lock alberon and then uh, these units i'm not really uh, caring for okay so that is what we're going to be doing uh, so the daily shop is going to be really important um, I'm gonna go ahead and watch this ad for this handful goal. Okay, so uh, in this shop tab down here, there's a packaging. Don't worry about that. We're not spending money. Daily store. We'll get into that later. Uh, we don't have any. We're just starting out. We don't have anything. So currency. We don't worry about this stuff. But the bottom handful goal four plus four hundred. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna watch this ad. All right, ad John got the four hundred gold. All right, we are cooking, boys. All right, so now you know we just we just do our we just do our invasion mode, boys. So let's do invasion mode chapter one and that is it that is it so battle five food and then we're gonna go in now this is relatively easy relatively easy don't worry so we summon twice okay so this is a front line so we'll just do this you know and uh evan is kind of like a melee so but we don't want uh evan to get focused first so we get the, sh the shield uh, out right first the tank right Wait, we're gonna be focused on Evan, boys. Solo Evan is going to be Insignia Mask Evan. Now, uh, Insignia Mask, you're gonna be seeing uh, this and hearing this term thrown out a lot if you go to uh, any of the community signs for King God Castle. Um, this is a very popular comp. A lot of people recommend it. Um, so this is what it is. in season one like i said i did do rapid spear for that one and that is a classic comp but it is it, it's it's an important comp to like uh know you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying it, it is an important comp to know and see, uh, penetrating rapid you know our gang super classic not exactly strong in this day and age it used to be incredibly strong but there's so many units that can be jumped on into the back line nowadays that it is kind of hard now we're trying to get an evan okay so all these other well you know intent every every hero that we have right now are kind of similar level outside of this run right like their actual hero level are um very similar so it actually doesn't matter too much so i'm just gonna try to get my main focus is evan okay uh, i'm gonna put a bow on him bows increase attack speed and then actually i'm gonna go ahead and fiddle around with the um settings real quick right now so auto deploy i always want to turn it off now i will show you what happens when you have it on so what you when you have it on um if you have three units right if you pay attention to the formation number i have two out of three right so when i click start since the game recognizes that i don't have max units on the field it will auto deploy randomly one of these units onto the field so i have max right i believe it's the first slot but yeah that is what auto deploy does there are reasons why you don't want the game to do this so um i recommend just turning it off and just have it manually do it there are some reasons um but later on you will understand why that would be but i do recommend turning it off uh so this is kind of the merchant you can uh buy like some buffs and items uh, i'm gonna get this one this one allows us to get higher tier units for when we summon so instead of getting tier ones when we summon we will get tier two when we summon right uh, so we're gonna turn it off now you'll notice that I'll, I'll put the priya out right um and then when i click start then the game doesn't automatically put out a unit right so it stays uh the same state right as i left it and i died <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm a pro, guys. I'm a freaking pro. I'm a I'm a pro, man. I'm a freaking pro. 
Let's not try to do that. Let's not. So um, uh, you get three tries each run, okay? Three tries each run. Now you get uh, one more technically because after you die, you are able to watch an ad or um, basically like watch an ad for an extra life. So kind of like a fourth life, you kind of have four lives, but you have to pay for the fourth one kind of thing. But and if you have a battle pass, then you know you can revive for free. But this is free to play, boys. Free to play. Now Evan, for his skill, his ability right here. So when he has max uh, mana, he will throw a huge uh, wave slash, and it will hit people, right? And it is pretty cool. So you can watch Evan max mana. Boom! You see that crescent slash very cool now each hero has a level 4 and level 8 potential ability that uh, gives them you know you know, gives some gives them some stuff um, and you will see why Evan is so popular later later you know we gotta level him up a little bit gotta level him up a little bit okay uh, so for items for Evan, you want, technically you want one bow, this thing, right? This is attack speed, one bow. So you can only have three items, one bow and technically two staffs. That is the general rule of thumb. Now, if you see this sell thing, so when I want to sell this, right? When you sell it, it's down here, right? So what I like to do, what I recommend is if you go to your settings up here, you see dismissal area, small. I always turn it to big, okay? Turn it to big. And if you notice, all I have to do is anywhere in this area. Like, I don't have to go all the way down in the corner. So, that is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna sell some units and I'm gonna try to get Evan. Just just sell some units and try to get Evan. Because Evan is like our damned. You know what? That's fine. That, you know, that's fine. Evan's like the OP. Just think, think, think of Evan like the OP carry, okay? So, we're trying to get Evan here. Evan, Evan, please. It's okay, it's okay, we're OP. OP boys. OP. Okay. So this is, the devil's proposal thing is kind of like you, the condition is, oh, you get more enemies, right? It's like a bad thing and then you get this reward, right? We're gonna, we're gonna accept it, you know, it's fine. Uh, book. So the book item, we're gonna get the book. The book item, what's cool about it is that for, there are three types of book. There's a brown book, blue book, and then there's a red book. Um, and this book, whatever unit that you use it on, it will up tier it by one. And the limit of a blue book is tier four or less. So you, you know, for maximum value, you always wanna use this on a tier four. So right now, Evan is a tier three. I I don't want to book the Shota because she's a tank and I'm not trying to get a high tier Shota because she's just a tank, right? I want my carry where my damage is to be the highest tier. So if I do it, I can do it right now, but that is not getting my value. So I'm going to try to try to get a tier four Evan first and then book it, if that makes sense. Now I have a tier two bow right here, tier two bow combine. Now I have a tier three bow. And then whenever it gets a tier three bow, you start getting random affixes. And this is split attack. So um, he'll start doing, uh, you know, split attack when he does attack. Amazing affix. Boom. Okay. You can see the round number down here, round 12. There are 20 rounds in invasion. So just to know, I'm gonna sell like, you know, we need a tier, come on, bro. Come on, the RNG. Okay, there's an Evan. Um, don't hesitate to put multiple copies of the same unit. It's actually uh, something that new players kind of tend to not do. Uh oh, am I dead? Am I dead? Hold on, Shota. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Don't worry, boys. We are, we are. Okay, okay. I'm selling. So hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm desperate. I'm desperate. Hold on, Evan, 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 Evan. Please, Evan. Okay, okay. Whoa, okay. So I'm gonna boom, boom. Whoo. Okay. So if we have a tier four, Evan. All right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna book it. Now I'm gonna use my book. Full value. Tier five, boys. Tier five. I'm gonna put these units on the, you know. I'm gonna do this just. 
just in case just in case i die just in case and as you notice evan's skill actually scales so now his wave slash is bigger very cool very cool and his uh actual base model like the size of it is bigger so like the size of daniel here versus evan size okay Man, we're getting wrecked. We are absolutely getting wrecked, man. We didn't level up Evan. Every 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 hero that we have right now is like they're the same level, level one, right? So this is probably not the, the best idea to focus on Evan because he's actually not even like, he's not even, I'm gonna get the flag. So the flag gives me an extra life, okay? And I'm kind of worried that I'm just gonna die, so. Yeah. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. I can't die on chapter one. Not the first one, boys. All right, so this is the brown book. So the brown book's limit is tier two, right? So we can get that. Um, we are going to get the... You know, we're just gonna buy it. We're gonna buy it all. We're gonna buy it all. I'm gonna do this. You know, might as well just put it on Evan, you know. Put this on Leo. We're gonna do this. Uh, you know what? Let's expand. So I'm gonna sell this one, right? And then expand. Boom. Another unit. Okay. All right. All right, boys. I think we're fine. You know, chapter one, man. This is, oh man, I'm, I'm sweating already, boys. It's already not looking for good. It's not already, not, you know, nothing new, boys. Nothing new. Always struggling, man. Okay. I have an extra life, it is no problem. I'm gonna give this uh, staff to Evan. So yeah, the staff will apply more damage to Evan's ability, right? You see the blue, right? Blue means um, ability power, right? The, the This thing, the magic, so. That is why, that is why. Uh, I don't want Alberon. Might as well. And you know what? I'm going to put this back a little bit. And then... Yeah, so like when they hit, they hit the Leo first, right? So my Evans don't get damaged. Well, this one's getting damaged. It's okay. It's okay. Man, my Evan is taking so much damage. So this is the boss round. I'm going to take this. So this is the red book I was talking about. It's a tier 6 or less. So you really want to save this for tier 6. If you can't, that is no problem, but you really want to get the hugest value out of this red book when the unit is tier 6. Um, but I'm going to expand. But since um, since it's like I don't have enough money for it, I, I, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Okay. But normally you want to wait until tier 6 and then you book a red. So I'm just going to do this and I think it's okay. I do have an extra life. I'm pretty sure it's okay. It's only chapter one, man. I'm already struggling on chapter one. What's going on? But it's okay, man. It's okay. We're going to level them up. We're going to level them up. Don't worry about it. Okay, chapter one. We leveled up. This is our castle level, by the way. And this goes all the way up to uh, level 100 right now. Uh, but um, you really want to get this castle level. Um as high as you can because castle level is actually tied to how many um, altar points that you can get and you want to get the max altar points as you can and the max altar points is uh, 25 points yeah, yeah 25 points so this is just challenge okay okay you can make it harder good 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 you can get rewards when you complete it cool next one bandit invasion so this is chapter two we're gonna be doing that next but yeah you can go, you can do higher phases so you can add some challenge points and you can keep on adding challenge points that make it harder and with more rewards and we can get more stuff we will be doing that we're not doing this right now we will be doing it soon and the highest challenge point that you can get is 
15. So if you hear um, phase 15, that is what that means. It's chapter one, normal phase 15. So that's what they're talking about, 15 points, right? So yeah, so let's go ahead and do, so let's, oh, we, we unlock some stuff. So we get some stuff. Let's grab all of our goods, man. Let's get everything, grab everything. Beginner coin, sure, give me all the food everything um this is the summon thing we'll get that we'll get to that in a second boys um some of this okay good 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 all right so let's go to the daily shop so we have 500 gold right now uh, this daily shop it refreshes every day once but you can force refresh it three times uh, every day by doing an ad uh if you have the battle pass this is free but um if i you know we're, we're free to play boys i have to watch the ads but the benefit of this is that your heroes how to get heroes is actually through summoning scrolls okay this is this screen right here this button down here summon and common scrolls is going to be your 99 percent of the time this is what you're going to be spending you know a majority of your money on to get new heroes so if you click this eye icon right here you we can actually see the rates boom you know you can get your heroes right so this is your gotcha essentially right this is um for actual in-game currency so your your gold right that you get from farming invasion that is why farming invasion is so important um this one you can spend gems on it i do not recommend it just only use it if you have it don't spend the gems man save your gems for uh new heroes in the daily shop now what is that so if you go to shop daily uh you see where evan is i'm gonna buy this right now so we're 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 looking for evan okay so i'm gonna go ahead and buy it since we are building evan right we're starting up building evan where evan is at right now there is actually when whenever it the daily shop resets or when you reroll roll it there's a chance that this slot right here is a new hero new hero not xp so this is xp for heroes that you own so if I bought this one right here, Daniel, for 60 gold, it will give me six experience for Daniel, right? Now we just bought that Evan experience, right? Um, so this this spot right here could be a entirely new hero. Don't need to do cut gotcha at all, and it is for gems. So that is why we want to save gems for specifically heroes that we want for whatever reason but even more important hero locks when you start off you don't have full hero lock yet and as a reminder alberon is a hero lock already so you don't need uh you know you only need four right so one two three four these aren't hero locks uh, characters so um, we want more backup heroes right <laughs> there are several heroes now so it's actually uh pretty pretty easy to get full hero lock eventually but um if you see hero lock get hero lock first and if you are seeing a specific hero that you want and then it shows up definitely spin it but other than that please refrain from using gems on scrolls and especially this thing do not use your gems on this dumb heroes or definitely don't use don't definitely don't do this okay don't spend your gems on these at all okay don't do that and then there's another thing i don't think they introduced it yet but there's another thing it's like a scroll blessing do not use your gems on that guys okay i know in the beginning the game gives you a lot of gems and you're like oh i have so many gems i want to use something right and you kind of get impatient please save them you will, will appreciate it a lot later okay boys don't use your gems use your gems on hero lock characters in daily shop and and for specific heroes that we're going for so if i see in wrath which i'm going to replace evan i have plans to replace evan with then i'm definitely gonna buy in wrath and hero locks that is what i'm going for so um yeah that is what we're gonna be doing and see altar level as i mentioned so this is your castle level and then your altar points we want to get max altar points right now we only have one right so we just got leveled up so we can actually upgrade our altar right and now we have another um another altar point to put in our altar so the max altar points that you can get is 25 so we would definitely want to get max altar points asap very important all right next we are um there's actually coupon codes that are active right now and i want to take advantage of all of them so there is a like fandom page i think somebody like um they they someone manages it i'm not i'm not sure but kudos to whoever manages it but there you can find all of the current active coupon codes 
on that website, but I also post it on my community post, right? So if you just check that out and you can see the, all the active coupon codes and they give you like things like uh, scrolls and you know more food and things like that so this i'm gonna i have it i have all of them saved in a document so i'm gonna put them all here and i should be getting a lot of god scrolls from this and we're gonna hope we get in wrath okay boys we're gonna hope i'm gonna put all these coupon codes all of them freaking all of them i don't know what they give me i, I i'm pretty sure it gives me a bunch of like god scrolls pretty sure pretty sure so this is one of the first things you should be doing. So you should look up all the available coupon codes as of right now, whether through the King Kong Castle fandom wiki or whatever, or go on my YouTube channel uh, community posts, and I should have them there. If you don't see them, you can ask me for sure. But this should be giving us some quite a bit of things. Now, some of these might not be active uh, anymore in the future if you're watching this, but you know, just updated right so we have all of it boom boy look at all these goodies oh yeah all right so we got a bunch of scrolls boys so we're gonna be rolling some scrolls so for scrolls the rule of thumb is that you want to always do them in batches of four now if you have to do it then go ahead and do it but you always want to do it in batches of four and why is that right so if you look at common scrolls here you see these pips right these triangles right the three of them right you kind of see it on the common scroll and then the king scroll and then the god scroll right there are three pips right each time you use a scroll it will fill up a pip right so each time it will go up to three then on the fourth scroll it will have double of the rate now the pip status does not carry over to the next day meaning that if you use two scrolls in a day and then say tomorrow comes by it will reset back to zero right so your pip status will not carry over so that is why you always want to use it in batches of four or just make sure you do it within the the daily time frame right because it, it resets after every day right so you definitely don't want to just use one you know a, a day you definitely don't want to do that right um and so for king scrolls it's kind of harder you know the the rare the item is the you know it's getting it, like god's scroll kind of comes by kind of more more rare more rare right so you know yeah you can use one you know if you want to yellow it but for common scrolls you definitely want to definitely kind of want to do it in batches of four for sure so we have a bunch of god scrolls from uh the mail stuff and the coupon code so let's do it boys so batches of four yes please animation now i'm looking for in wrath okay boys in wrath so we're getting xp in wrath no we get king so king's tokens are very good okay save king's tokens boys and king's tokens we're, we're not going to get into it right now but king's tokens is used for awakening heroes and that is very important well we'll get to it in the future we'll get to it in the future come on please okay so bottom right do you see that little you know it says it is there's not a number it's a it's a you know glowy thingy right that means the next one is a, a guaranteed hero please in wrath in wrath or hero lock hero lock in wrath Jupiter no that's not what I want cool hero but not what we want boys not what we want man okay another hero God's girl come on come on come on and this is giving us a lot of money as well so we're looking for hero 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 okay we see the hero please in wrath in wrath in wrath in wrath hero lock okay Victor Victoria is actually really good right now boy she's actually really good I really don't want to do a Victoria run though. I really don't. I know a lot of people would love it. I, I want in wrath, man. I want in wrath. The hero lock Lily. Okay. At least we got a hero lock Lily. Lily is a hero lock. Okay. One more. One more, boys. At least we got Lily. At least we got Lily. No hero. Oh my. Oh my. Oh my gosh. Now this, I do have 20K. Look how much money we have now, boys. 20 freaking K, man. 20K. All right, 20K. Um, I, I was actually hoping that it, I was gonna get in wrath, but 
Uh, Lily, I'm gonna be putting Lily on the team. She is a hero lock, so boom, right? And then um, let's level, you know what? Let's go ahead and do our shop rerolls. Um, I'm actually gonna buy the Book of XP. Now, what the Book of XP does is that, you know how each hero has a specific uh, XP, right? That they get, and we have to get specifically their XP, right? Book of XP, right here, it'll say I have 591 of them. It's wild experience that we can put into any hero that we want. So for example, Lily, right? You can actually click the bar of her level, and then we can use some resources to like, you know, level her up, right? So Book of XP, it'll give her XP. So Book of XP, really good. It is wild experience. So I'm not looking to level up any of these other heroes. So I'm going to go ahead and refresh. We have three times. I'm going to have to watch these freaking ad boys. I'm going to watch the ad. Okay, I reset it. So now I, I, I didn't get a hero. Okay, so I have more Book of XP. I'm actually buy the Book of XP. I see Evan. I'm going to go ahead and buy Evan. I don't need anything else. Um, actually, now that I think about it, if I roll this and I, I see Enrath, I'm going to feel sad because I don't have enough gems. So there's actually not much point in me rolling besides like trying to get uh, XP for Evan and stuff. So I I'm, I think I'm good for now. I think I'm good because like if, if and it's 198 gems, okay, and I don't have enough gems yet. And the game does give you a lot of gems, but we haven't been playing a lot. All right, so let's go to the barracks and let's start leveling up our heroes. So we are actually funneling all of our stuff into evan now i do have victoria huh now this is the now now I, i'm in a so i have to stick with evan okay i can't just stick with freaking victoria now victoria is a good option as well um can do many things but i think i'm gonna for the sake of the series and and all of that i can't pivot yet i had to go evan uh so let's level him up everyone's level one i don't have in wrath yet so let's level him up we do have 237 out of five and that is mainly because of the scrolls that we got it gave us a lot of evan experience so we're gonna go ahead and level him up let's see hero growth so you click the hero right click the xp bar and then boom it's full so we don't have to do anything level up of 40 silver boom level two so the base stats go up, right? So we're we're to keep on get we're, we're to just keep on going. We're to keep on going. Now, if you notice down here, potential ability level four, level eight, right? So at level four, he has max MP at the start of battle, which is very good. And then eight is more spell power. So once we level him up to level four, you'll see that we'll unlock his potential ability. It'll tell us, boom, right there. We're just gonna keep on going. We'll keep on going. We're gonna skip the animations by clicking outside. You know, in the past, fun fact, in the past, you couldn't get skip anims. You couldn't skip anims. So if you see here, it's 44 out of 200 experience, right? We actually don't have um, enough XP for Evan, but we have a lot of books. So we can actually use books to level them up. But I'm actually going to save my books for in wrath <laughs> i'm gonna save it for in wrath otherwise i would do it evan in line now like if you're following this series you can just do this with evan okay just funnel everything in evan but for this series instead of focusing on one thing i do want to play with other heroes in this particular series i'm actually planning on to taking this as far as i can and not really retire it like i did uh for ara gang i actually want to take it as far as i can like phase 15 great rifts and all that and playing different variety of heroes so that is what i'm going to be doing but if you're following the series you can very well just put everything all your books and everything into evan level 20 no problem at all he is a great farmer as well but i actually want to pivot and do in wrath uh, do a little bit differently this time so yeah level seven evan not bad so we're gonna be keeping it like this and yeah until we get gems we need gems we need to unlock some stuff too but until we get some gems i don't feel like re-rolling the daily shop because otherwise when when if if in wrath shows up i don't have enough gems to even get it anyway so let's Go into battle with our new, you know what, I'm gonna level eight. Let's go ahead and unlock that level eight potential ability. You know, you know, it doesn't cost that much experience, right? So it's 44 out of 200. So we're gonna click the book of XP and then click grant XP down here. So boom, it will max it out. Then we level it up, $4,000. And you can notice that uh, the amount of gold <laughs> that is required to level up heroes 
gets high very quickly, okay? It gets very high. That is why we need to farm, boys. We need to farm. So we're gonna go do our solo care. We're actually just gonna do chapter two, five food, boom, let's go. Now, let's talk about the hero lock a, bit, a, a little bit. I do have two, right? Alberon and Lily. Now the other three, so this is round one, just to go over hero lock a little bit. Now this is round one, right? It only applies to round one. The first three squares will only be the heroes that are not hero lock. So if you're running a full hero lock team with one carry, that means you can force round one summons to be only your one carry, which would, in our case, the team comp that we're going with, Evan. But we don't have full hero lock, right? So it can be Evan and the other three units on our team. So if we summon right now, boom, boom, boom. See, we got Evan and then the other one's Leo. So uh, you didn't see Alberon or Lily. And that is what hero lock is. Now past round one, it doesn't freaking matter, right? You can still get hero lock characters that summon. It only applies to round one, boys. Only round one. So that is what we're going to be doing. Now, since we actually leveled up Evan we actually want to get only evan <laughs> because our leo's level one lily's level one and our evan is level eight so it is very uh it is very different now if you notice our our uh, our potential abilities right kicking in shot the start of round um evan will actually uh, if you if you hold the units, you can actually see like the the blue ability range. So Evan will actually instantly cast his ability since his level four potential gives him max MP at the start of round. So you can actually line it up. If I put him back here, he'll like instantly do a wave at this unit right here. Boom! And that is that is Evan, man. So eventually, if you get him high enough, he'll if you get a higher tier, he can just do a huge wave and clear the entire board. And that is why. Evan is so popular. I'm gonna get the silver because we want Evan. We're, we're lacking it. Actually, I'm going to actually just gonna, I'm just gonna sell, man. I'm just gonna sell until we get Evan. We need Evan. Evan and Lily. I'm not getting any of those. <laughs> My RNG, dude. My RNG is gonna be a death of me, man. Ah, my RNG. All right. Uh, I'm not I don't want that don't do that uh, I will get oh man I'm ah oh, no I don't want to watch the ad dude screw the ads we ain't watching ads here boys um I think I'm still okay I think so I should be fine this is a level 8 Evan boys you know don't don't sleep on level 8 Evan I'm doing some work Evan how many lilies am I going to get, man? How many? Lily's a great tank, man. If you don't know what Lily does, she mounts on her golem, and then um, it's a separate health bar, essentially. Oh my gosh, how many lilies am I going to? This is pure RNG, by the way. Eventually, we're gonna start sweating. Eventually, I'm gonna be selling on my lilies. But yeah, when she dies, her goal on her golem, she like she hops off right like like this. Then when she gets full mana, she'll hop back on a a Shasha, right? The the golem. Okay, th there's an Evan. I I keep on getting freaking. Okay, there it is. There it is. Tier three, boys. So for tier three, the the range increases. Boom, like this. So you can start like you know lining a bunch of units up, and you want you want a bunch of units to get hit by that first wave slash, right? That is the idea. And usually the rule of thumb for items is standard to be one bow, two staffs. Uh, metal honor is amazing. Uh, so if you don't know what metal honor does, it is an RNG tier up for the units on your field. So obviously we want this to land on Evan, but it is a 33% chance. And I want to go for the guaranteed and go for the book. So yeah. So if I get another Evan, no, we don't have another Evan. So if I get another Evan, then I can do a tier two, right? Then do a brown book, then combine it with my tier three on the field and then blue book it, boom, right? I'll accept that, I'll get that. I don't, I'm too lazy to watch ads. <laughs> we're doing two stats, one bow for Evan. So we're gonna do this, so we're gonna go boom. 
tier, right? Merge, blue book. Now he is a tier. I'm just gonna put the, the armor on a Lily cause she's just tanking. So if you see the range now, look how big this range is boys. Look at it, almost entire. So at tier seven is actually the entire seven uh, columns. And it is very satisfying. Look at this, boom. That is why you play Evan boys. That is why you play Evan. That is why a lot of people love Evan. Very clean, very clean. Now we wanna put like a bunch of Evans. So you can kinda do like this, right? Like boom. <laughs> And don't be afraid to put multiple Evans on the field, right? A lot of a lot of new players make the mistake of only putting, um, like, say for example, you, the team is six uh, made up of six heroes, right? A lot of new players make the mistake of putting like one of each hero on the field, like this, and then expand, and then putting like the rest, like Alberon, and then it's just one unit of each hero, and then just tearing it up. A lot of new players do that. Don't make that mistake. Um, since Evan is our highest here, he has the highest base stats, right? And he does the most damage. So actually having a bunch of Evans is actually better. <laughs> so yeah. But later on, you will understand why, um, the way we're doing this will differ in the future when we start getting our relics, right? When we start getting our, uh, you know, our mask insignia stuff. So boom, we can do this. Now we're talking, man. Look at the double waves, boys. Look at it. Double waves. So we can go bow. This is the main event. Now, two tier five Evans is better than one tier six, okay? So don't don't merge them boys, okay? And the extra body is much better. There there are reasons why you would, you know, not, but you'll learn as you go. You'll learn as you go. So you don't want to merge it. You definitely don't want to merge it. So I'm just looking for Evan, okay? I'm just sell I'm gonna sell everything. Screw it. I'm gonna sell everything. Look for Evan. Now, later, when we start putting, um, putting like alter heroes in place and stuff, we can start worrying about econ and, and those kind of concepts, but you don't really need to worry about that at the beginning. Because we don't have max alter points or anything. We're just running blood, which gives us lifesteal, right? So, and this is, this is pretty much, we're just, we're just rocking this mad. Look at that wave, man. So much damage. So much damage. Now, you can feel free to, like, put the items on, you know. These other We're already at the boss. So I'm going to get this book. Up. Yeah, we, can, we can go ahead and book this. Boom. Tier 7. Look at, look at the range, dude. Look at the range. It is beautiful. We're just going to do this. Uh, you can just, you know, we'll just do this. We don't even need to, you know, we can just do this. He'll, they'll die. Boom! Did you see that? Did you see that? That is why you play Evan, man. That is why. Level up, amazing. We get a we get an increased cap on our food. Great. So chapter three unlocked, and then another tutorial. Now all the, I think this is new. I think this is new. Summoning. Welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. Oh, this is the free summon thing that they actually give you as a welcome summon. Oh, I totally forgot about this. I think this has a free uh, guaranteed like hero, I, I believe. Now we're gonna hold for Inrath. Dude, if I get Inrath from this, I totally forgot this was a thing. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, you get a free hero, I forgot. Okay, free hero, come on, Inrath, 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 Mel, okay, Mel, okay. Mel is a fan favorite as well. I don't want to use her, but she is a raid staple. So if we want to do raid, we already got Mel. That, that, it's okay. It's okay. You know, not not what I'm looking for. Not what I'm looking for, man. Um, good luck. Thank you. Well, that was my free summon. Uh, upgrade my altar since I leveled up. I'm going to keep on putting it in blood. Um, get all this, right? How much gins do I have? Not enough. 24. Do this, boom, boom, boom. Pass stuff, uh huh. Package, don't care. 
I'll buy the book of XP. Nothing there. Okay. We don't have enough Evan XP, so we can't really uh, do that. Um, yeah, and now we're chilling, man. Now we're chilling. Now, this thing, the first step of the new king, this thing, this is the thing that you can, like, choose what you want to summon. Um, and it's like, oh, you can choose what you want to summon, right? So, like, say, for example, you want, I want Inrath and, like, Ian, I guess, selection, yeah. So, you get this thing, right? And it costs gems. Now, I don't recommend doing this, guys. Do not do this. Like, so... You, you, your percent chance of getting a hero is still pretty low and it costs gems and it is eventually you'll get your heroes anyways i don't recommend doing this i really don't i really i i don't recommend it guys don't don't spend your gems on this um and the scroll of blessings itself it's pretty freaking rare like it's very hard to get your best even this one don't do freaking this one okay guys don't do it and then hero summon is like your best bet spinning gold on the common scrolls is your best bet of getting new heroes and eventually you get every hero in the game all right so we don't have enough to do evan stuff um pretty much we get this from that okay chapter three and now we're chapter three and we keep on going now there is going to be a point where we actually have to revisit old chapters do higher phases and then maybe we have to do some farming as well and do that but eventually we're going to be unlocking this relic thing and then uh, and then we can start getting our relics going and then we can try to upgrade those and then the cycle keeps on going on but before we end this first episode i do want to do some pulls man we do have a lot of freaking silver or gold i mean so um you can just do the four pull or the single so right now i have three uh, scrolls right so i'm just gonna do singles right first so I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna skip the animations so skip then you can see the pip uh start to fill up right so one more i can fully you know fill it up boom and then now it's full now you have this uh ui that is gold right so for the hero summon you have four percent chance right and you get you know double of this good stuff so let's do the 250 hopefully maybe we get we get lucky and get a hero no no hero man or now we're back at square one a thousand for a four pool you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna end this video on doing all of my gold on four pools on this okay let's do it boys 16 times let's go let's 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 do it let's do it i don't mind i don't freaking mind i want new heroes you know we're just getting xp oh my Okay, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do single. Come on, come on, come on. Hero? No. Oh my gosh. You know, it takes, it takes a lot. It takes a lot. It takes a lot, you know? Nine times? No new hero yet? At least I'm getting XP for Evan, you know? That, that is, that is the bright side. No new hero. No new hero. Come on, new hero. Oh my gosh, we're not gonna get any hero. Oh, not one. One more, last one, please, hero. <sighs> no hero. Oh, well, that is the life of King God Castle, boys, even for me. But, the, you know, we got experience, though. <laughs> I'm gonna end this one here as a reminder if this vid reaches 100 likes I know you guys can do it I'll upload the next one as soon as I can as a reminder check out my patreon and you have early access to all of my videos and exclusive content as well as obviously my noob to pro season 2 videos it has been fun and we are off to you know a decent start and I'm looking forward to the future now as always thumbs up if you like this subs if you loved it and I'll see you in the next one boys later